Hello kids, welcome to Yoga and Prayogshala. Today I am taking you all for a surprise picnic. So we are going to a bird sanctuary. So are you all excited? Come on, let's pack our bags and head straight to the bird sanctuary. So kids, what do we see at the entrance? It's full of beautiful flowers. Let us take the fragrance of these flowers, okay? Just imagine that you have a flower in your hand. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, okay? Let us keep one hand on the stomach. We'll do it five times. So let's do flower breathing. Inhale, exhale. Just note when you inhale, your stomach should expand. And when you exhale, your stomach will go inside. Repeat. 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 One last time. Very good. So we are done with our flower breathing. Now let's move ahead and meet our lovely birds. Okay kids, which is the first bird you can see in the sanctuary? It is our national bird welcoming us. Yes, it is the peacock. So now we will turn our hands into the feathers of a peacock. Excited? Let us see how. Spread both your arms like this. Now turn your right palm down towards the floor. Inhale, take a long deep breath. With an exhale, slowly take your right hand down towards the floor. Bend your elbow and stretch your left hand out. Very good. So your hands are now the feathers of a peacock. Change the side. This time, your right palm will be facing up. Inhale. With an exhale, go down. Take your left hand down. Bend your elbow down. And stretch your right hand out. Inhale up. Relax. So what do we see next? It's a duck. Let us come into the duck pose. Simply sit on your heels like this. See, you have to sit on your heels first. Gather your balance. Slowly lift your knees up. And open your knees as much as you can. Try to bring your heels close to each other. Okay? Yes. And there we are in the duck pose. Let's do quack, 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 quack. Yes. You can also move around like a duck. Come. Quack. Quack. Walk with me. Quack. 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 Yes. Quack. 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 Yes. Very good. Shh. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to the noise, kids. Isn't it similar to a hen's noise? But it is not a hen. It is a rooster. So let us get into the rooster pose. Come on all the pores of your body, your palms and your knees. Okay? Keep your back straight. And now slowly you have to lift your right leg up. And keep your back straight. Slowly lift your right leg. Keep it straight. Don't take it too high or too low. You have to keep the leg straight. Keep your leg stretched out. So this is the rooster pose. And what sound does the rooster make? Kukuruku. Let us start. Kukuruku. 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 Very good. Let's do it on the other side. Kukuruku. 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 Very good. I hope you are having a good time in the sanctuary. So kids... The bird sanctuary is incomplete without this bird. It is found everywhere, outside our house, on the roads, in the gardens, everywhere. It is grey in colour. Come on, guess. Yes, it is the pigeon. So let us get into the pigeon pose. But kids, be very careful with this pose, okay? Come. Watch me carefully. Keep your hands on the floor like this. Take your right leg back. Okay. Slowly. 
Take your left leg out and bring your body down. Try to touch your legs on the floor. Extend your toes out. Keep your leg tilted as much as you can. Balance your body well. Try to keep your palms on the floor. Slowly look up. Expand your shoulders. Your hips, knees and your toes should be in one straight line. I'll show you on the other side. Keep your palms down. Stretch your leg out. Bring your body in one straight line. Knees, feet and toes in one straight line. Slowly tilt your leg as much as you can. Adjust your body and look back. Relax. So kids, let's move ahead. I can see a dark black color bird. What is it? It is a crow. Yes, let's do the crow walk. Come on one side of the mat first. So first we'll keep our knees down. Okay, and balance slowly on your toes now. Slowly balance on your toes now. And now using our support of the hands, we will do the crow walk. So we will keep our right knee down. We will take our left leg in the front. And now we will shift this left leg down, left knee down. And right feet in the front. Okay. Let's do the crow walk with support. Yes. You can do it. It's very simple. See. On the mat. Do the crow walk. Yes. One knee down. One feet down. Yes. Now let us do it without support. So this time. Again we will balance ourselves on the toes like this. Keep both the hands on the knees and slowly one knee down, one feet down. Continue. Yes. See how easy it is? You may take a little practice but it is very easy. See. Let's do the crow walk. Yes. Relax. Okay kids, tell me which is the bird which stands on only one leg. Yes, it balances itself only on one leg. It is the flamingo. So let us do the flamingo pose. To enter into the pose, spread your arms like this straight in the line of the shoulders. It should not be up or down. Straight. And slowly lift your right leg up. Bend your knee. Keep your toes on the floor first. Balance your body. And slowly lift your right leg up. Your left knee should be straight and your right leg should be parallel to the floor. Thigh should be parallel like this. If you cannot do it without support, you can also do it with support. Okay? You can just take the support of the wall like this. So I will do it without support. Let us do it for 10 counts. Do it with me. Slowly raise your arms straight. Chest out. Keep breathing. Balance your right leg on the toe. Slowly lift it up. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Relax. Let us do it on the other leg. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Relax. Very good. Tell me kids, which is the bird which is found in cold regions? It is a bird which goes into the water. It is the penguin. So let us get into the penguin pose. Spread your legs like this. Okay. Hands on the waist. Toes will be pointing outwards. And slowly we will bend our knees like this. Keep your hands down. Slowly lift your hands up and we can do 
We can walk like a penguin. First walk on your place. And now slowly move forward. And move backward like a penguin. You can go down as much your body allows. Yes. Wow. Look at your thighs. Our legs are becoming so strong. Because of the penguin pose. Yes. Go down further as much as your body allows. Very good. Keep walking front and back. Relax. Now kids, there is a big bird in the sky. Spread nicely. And its wings are straight. Which is the bird? It is the eagle. So let us do the eagle pose. So we will do today the ba most basic form of the eagle pose. Okay? Keep your hands on the waist. Take your right leg. Cross it. And keep it on the other side. In front of the left leg. And slowly. What you will do? Cross your hands. Interlock your fingers. And bring your hands down. Take your knees. Down. Bend your knees a little bit. And stand straight. Back straight. Try to balance yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. Let's do it on the other side. Hands on the waist. Take your left leg. Cross it. Again, interlock your fingers like this. And turn it inside. Slowly bend your knees. Stand straight. One. Back straight. Bend your knees. One. Two. Balance yourself. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Relax. I hope you all have enjoyed with me. Thank you. Keep practicing.